This conference will now be recorded. Well, this is also here. Okay. Okay, so what did we discuss yesterday? Can anybody summarize? What all things did we see yesterday? HTTP redirect, sir. Yes, HTTP redirect, yes, right. Sir, voice cut you. One minute, sir. Signal. Can you hear me, Raj? Uh, Raj? My voice is clear, right? Yes, sir, your voice is clear. Okay. Uh, yeah. So what did we do? Yes, we did HTTP redirect. And what else? We created additional views, right? So tomorrow we created a dynamic URL and yes. try and try and accept. I think. We used, we, we learned to get the string and integer parameters, right, from the URL, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Um, let me share my screen now. Okay, now if we if we go to the uh, the app URLs. Okay, so okay, so you know, so we had created this two pattern, right? Now, one thing I wanted to show you was, if you go to the views, okay, we have hard coded the month name here, right? Here, okay. If you see, we have hard coded this month name in the URL itself, okay. Now, instead of hard coding it, uh, you know, I want to make it um, um, dynamic, right? That means I want to read this value also, okay? So what I'll do is, I will um, come here in the URLs. Okay. Not this one. 
the app URL, right? And what I'll do here, okay, just next to this, I will add a parameter name. Okay, so I'll say comma, okay, and I'll say name, equal to okay and i give this parameter name so let's say i call it as month number something okay means that this url has a name right which is month now okay now in the view we will make the respective change okay in view also we'll try to read dynamically so for that purpose we need to use what is called as reverse okay from the url see till now it's happening from view to url now we want to read from URL name to the view, right? So I have to use reverse. So I come to this um, views. Okay. First of all, I'll import um, uh, the reverse. Reverse is in URLs. Okay. So I'll say from Django dot URLs import reverse okay now um okay so in number we can change it okay so i think everything is fine in name in number let's just change it so uh, return http response re, uh, response redirect okay instead of this path i want to give it as a redirect path okay so how do we do that we will create a couple of things here Okay, so I'm going to say redirect path equal to. Okay, now here we will use reverse. So we'll say, okay, get me the path. Okay, so reverse what the month num that we use, we use there. Okay, so month num and um, and uh, this should be replaced with what you this month now isn't it so i'll say month now okay and i can say args arguments equal to in list this okay so Okay, redirect path is reverse of month now and this. Okay, and now what I do is I'll copy this here. Okay, and I will pass here. Okay, let me comment it out. Okay, so I come here and I say return HTTP response redirect in the redirect path okay i'm i'm only converting that into a um, you know um I'm converting the path as a dynamic path that's all i'm doing yes right now Let's run and see. So it is in monthly challenge. Okay, so how do we run server? Is it Django admin or uh, Python manage.py? Manage.py, sir. Manage.py, right? 
So I'll say Python manage.py run server. Okay, here I go and I'll say HTTP colon this. This is challenge, right? Oh, there's an error here. Oh, I give double comma. You guys didn't tell me. This is an exception. It's okay. It will run first. Yeah. It goes my WhatsApp. Okay, so we are ready. Now let's go back in. Challenges, right? It's not challenges. challenges. Okay, now, right? No, yeah, no change, right? We just, you know, instead of using a fixed path, we read it as a dynamic path, right? Then we are going and matching and seeing that from reverse, we are going to match and see, you know, where it is matching. Okay, sir. Okay, so, okay, so this is another thing. Um, so, okay, <laughs> now we are seeing the returning, it is returning text, right? Now we will use it to return HTML file. Okay, so returning text, let's say we return HTML file. Okay. So what I'm thinking is, let's create a um, index page, okay? And where the user can select the month name, okay? Okay, so... Okay. This is yeah. So I'm going to create a file called view. Okay. Or we can add it here. Okay, so let's do this. Let's try to call it from here. So I'm going to say this index is like your home page kind of okay. So we have your home, right? Let's convert it into index. So we have index, right? Correct. So, okay, so we'll change it here. So, if home page is created, here we'll have some tag, okay? So, okay, so let's say I put um, a list, 
So do you put list? You put UL, right? Unordered list. Okay. And you have this UL here. So we can directly write uh, HTML in uh, views. Uh, you have to pass it as a string. Okay. So I wanted to show you that. So okay. you can, you know, you, you know, you can give as a string. Okay. Because this is a function, pattern function. So you can't give HTML code directly. You have to give it like a string, multi-line string. So I'll I'll show you. Okay. So first I'm writing <laughs> this uh, code. Okay, li, okay, bullet point, okay, and I'll call this as January, okay. Now, as I said, you, you can't pass it as a, um, uh, you know, STL code here. So I'm going to give, declare this as a response data, okay. So this is the response data, okay. So triple, Quotation is multi line text. <laughs> okay. Right. You can also do something here. Page is created, right? You can say something like H1. Okay, B, B, H1. Now, this is for, uh, text here. Okay, now let's go and call the default one. You see? It is, you can call this like that, okay? So a pattern is just a text, but it when it returns to the home page, it returns the entire HTML code, right? So you can write code like this, okay? Now coming back to our response data. Okay, so I have this response data, okay? Um, Okay, and uh, okay, and uh, what I'll do here instead of HTTP response, this home page is created. Okay, we will send this response data. Return HTTP response. Okay, response data. Let's say data. Okay. Meant data, okay. not date. Yeah, you see that this it became a bullet, unordered list bullet, and you have January, right? Now again we are hard coding it, right? So let's not hard code it. Let's you know let it read from the the dictionary that we created yesterday. Okay. So okay, so we have to we can add our Python logic here. So Python logic is. Say months equal to list of monthly challenge text. Okay, so key is your month name, right? So we'll use key here. So we'll use list of dot is. Okay, so this will give us the list of 
months, Jan, Feb to December, right? Okay. Now, okay, and we'll iterate through this uh, month. Okay, we'll take first month and second month and third month, so on. So I'll say for month in months. Okay, and this is how you do for loop, right? So when I do, so months will give, return us the value <clears throat> as list. And month will take each value in, in every iteration, isn't it? The so first will take January, then February, so on. So I'll use this. Okay, now inside this, okay, we will use that um, path. Okay, so the path we'll use is um, uh, the you know the month path. Okay, not plus. Okay, month path equal to reverse of right we'll use reverse of okay so what is that challenge right month name okay Okay, and here it is not month now, but the month itself, right? What we are reading from this loop. So we are passing this. Yeah. Okay, so I think we are ready. Okay, now we'll create this. Yeah. Okay, so response data equal to uh, okay, we'll read the uh, you know with the inner values, right? So I'm going to read li okay. We will add UL later. Okay, so this is how we are going to read it. Okay, so here I'm going to say, okay, so that we don't want to fix a uh, you know uh, hard coded value, right? So we will use uh, month here, right? Month, right? And this is the path for this. So we say if we have to add href, we can add a href equal to oops sorry what did i do okay so inside list i will say a href equal to okay and end of link Okay, now href, we will give uh, the path here, which is, okay, so um, href equal to our, uh, this thing, the month path, reverse, okay. <coughs> okay, so this is going to, Put that and okay. Since this is in uh, inside for right, so you have to create a uh, global variable. So I'm going to create this as you can say equal to none or you can say blank. Okay, hmm. let's see what we get. Okay, so we get only month. We need the, okay. 
So this is coming correct, right? It, the month, month pass is coming. We need to, we're not getting the right value. Okay, so loop, loop is not running. So let's go back and see why loop is not running. So months, list of monthly change of keys, it should give us list of month, right? So this is fine. And I think even this is fine. Looks like a problem The for month in months. Okay, now this month. Okay, so this is a value. It is taken as a text, right? So what do we do? We put if here, okay, okay, indicating that uh, you know uh, this is a f string, okay, and this has to be outside the quotation, isn't it? Okay, this has to be outside the quotation. So I'm going to close till here. I'm going to close till here. And then I'm going to start till from here. Right. Okay, and The variable has to be in curly bracket, right? So this is curly bracket. And okay. In href month path. Yeah, so this is also a variable, isn't it? Okay, and the problem with the quotation here now. See, this quotation we want, we don't want this quotation, we don't want this quotation. Looks correct to me now, right? Okay, I started uh, string, so this should be part of everything is part of string, and we want this to be replaced f string, right? In f string, this values will be replaced with the original values, isn't it? Correct? Did you get this? So I'm passing entire thing as a text. In F string, what happens? F string, you remember when you put something in the flower bracket, the variable will be replaced with its values. That's why I put F string. Okay. Now when I go and run it, say yes, no, yes, I understand, I don't understand. If you keep quiet, how will I know what, you know, do you understand or not? Okay, now you see only December came and this is working fine. Okay, why did we not get entire thing? Because loop is running. Okay, loop will run and outside the loop you will get only December, right? Because every time it's, uh, it's, it's repeating. So what we need to do is we start with response data equal to blank and we say response data equal to response data plus this text or plus equal to. Okay. Now, when we go and refresh, we should get the entire Jan to December. Right? We got all this. But you see this, this uh, link is not good. I mean, this, capital, this is not capitalized, right? So we can capitalize this to look better. We can center it, you can create it bold, you can do whatever, all the, uh, you know, you can use all your HTML uh, logic here. You now I want to make it, let's say bold. Sir, I don't understand the uh, month path line, line number 25. Line number 25, I just did reverse, we just did that before, right? One second, okay, I'll come back to it. Okay, so month will capitalize. What will capitalize? You say is a string dot capitalize. Okay, we'll not case fold.
capitalize. Okay. Now we have done bold and capitalized. Similarly, on the uh, on the uh, page which is displaying the details, you can have a backlink to the home page, right? Yeah. You see this? It's bold and capitalized. So you click here. It goes to May. Yes, tell me now. What was your question? You don't understand line number 25, this one. Yes, sir. OK, so see, it says reverse. Reverse means what? I'm passing a parameter. You give me a path. That's what it means. So you are passing and you're getting the path name from URL. So when you go to URLs here, OK, so we are saying that, OK, so it is num or string. It is for string, right? So it will give us the this parameter is taken. Whatever you are giving is being read here. And the path of this view is what challenge, right? So it is giving us a challenge. So you are, you know, you. So instead of hard coding, hard coding the uh, the challenge plus the path name, we are reading it like a variable from here. Okay. So we are saying, okay, you. No, so this is good, you know, where, let's say tomorrow if you change the challenge to something else. Okay, so what you're saying is, you give me the project name. I don't know the project name, give me the project name. And you're really interested in that, see. Okay, I'll, I'll do it here and then I'll delete it. Earlier what we did, we said, redirect to or open, challenges slash January. This is what we gave earlier, correct? Now yes, I'm passing this as a parameter. Instead of, I am not passing this. I'm saying you give me the project name. Okay, so reverse is giving you these challenges. Okay, because it is in project app, you are getting these challenges. If you tomorrow, if you go and change this name, okay, You'll have to change everywhere, challenges to whatever. Now, since you are saying reverse, it is going to give you the reverse link. Okay, whatever you type here, this link will be taken. Did you get it? Uh, yes, mean sir, reverse uh, function um, through this link all, only. Okay, you see this. I earlier, okay, this challenges, right? So if I say challenges dot January, it is giving me challenges January, right? Why it's yeah. not the spin result, right? January or whatever is coming, whatever, right? So okay. Okay, we'll see why it's not coming, but let's 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 look at. I said challenges January. It is giving challenges January. Okay, if I okay, I give C H E S S January. Okay, now I click enter. Then not over. It is giving C H E January only. Okay, if you hard code it, then it will give you error saying that page not found. Now it is take, so when you pass it is taken. This is only taken as a parameter month num. Okay. Okay. And this part, the path is taken from the project. What is the previous path? If previous path is chess, it will give you chess. If previous path is something else, it will give you something else. So reverse means what? You're going back and checking this project name or app name rather, not project name. The URL link. URL okay, link, okay. you are not creating your own. You are going back and checking the main URL link to, by yourself. That's what reverse is doing. Reverse is going back and taking this link. 
earlier we were seeing challenges if you have january is january open challenges dot january january we said okay why tomorrow if you change the project name you change to something else then challenges january will not exist okay so reverse will help you to take the current path okay sir right so app name is taken is taken by the reverse so tomorrow let's say if you, let's say i give you this code and you want to change the project you know the app name from challenges to ch okay if you change ch that is enough you will not have to go and change challenges 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 everywhere so so you know instead of using challenges use reverse okay which which will make our program more usable and more dynamic more dynamic yes okay it will it will get you know this uh, you know you are getting rid of the hard coded value make it more dynamic so tomorrow you take the code you change the project name and it will be up and running okay so we are saying that you are going back and checking the you know url the app name and that app name we are appending okay so whatever you give that name will be taken now my question okay. is understood yes sir great now my question is why challenge is january is not working january challenges why is it not working okay so first of all is it, ah see it is because of this one <laughs> the error syntax error i right, will refuse to connect yeah so you got that okay so it says challenges is there okay but you know so it will take the name and it will try to open that file okay so it is making it more dynamic as you said yes that's right any questions so far guys Oh, sir, in here I have no question, but sir, I facing an issue when I try to practice. Okay, tell me what, where are you getting the problem? So can I share screen? Yes. So yes. So okay. So uh, you know this is end of uh, creating views. Now, okay, uh, in the next class we will add template. Okay, we already know how to add template, isn't it? So we add template. and then we will add some static files like images okay so we'll try to do that in the next class okay so i'm going to stop sharing my screen okay not that sorry yeah i'll just go ahead and share your screen my sharing screen uh, yes 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 now you can yeah my screen visible uh yes 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 so i create this and is work dynamically uh huh but uh, you see the text uh huh i sir uh, put the text like this Okay, so you have the real text. Yes, but when I want to use br in here, br tag. See, this is a database, right? Okay, run it. Br also in here coming. Correct. See, because that is database, it is getting as a text. you have to use uh, you know you have to use http response here so what we did here in http response we are parsing this as a text so where are you displaying this okay where, where is the code to display this
यस सर लाइन नंबर इट इज टाइटल फोर्टी सिक्स फोर्टी सिक्स सो ब्लॉग ओके डॉट कंटेंट सो इट इज स्पीकिंग द कंटेंट एंड डिस्प्लेइंग इट एज इट इज राइट see um so this So it is. See here, it is just displaying the text, and there it is saving it is as a text. Uh, so, uh, are you writing the code to save the text to the database, the content? Are you writing the code to save, or you are depending upon the inbuilt admin thing? Where are you saving? Sir, in here. Huh, so this is the column name, right? But when you say save, when you when you are saving the data, uh, which code is saving that to database? Sir, I created the model and uh, I add from admin dot py file. Correct. Correct. So admin dot so you are registering. Uh, this single blog app, right? Okay. Okay, one second, huh?
Can you show me again that uh, the content where you're displaying? Can take me back to your code. Uh, display, yeah. It should be, yeah, yeah. So you are saying blog.content. This is in a template file, is it? Yes, sir. Okay, blog.html. Do you have a respective view? Where's the view for this? Yes, this is right. So here you're saying uh, the single block objects get uh, and return. Then blog dot html and why don't you add as a post post method? Okay, Rajesh, I've sent you a code. Okay, so this is how you can use post method to get the data. Okay, so before render, use that post. See if you can uh, use that. No, oh, not here, uh, on your chat. Yeah, here, this chat. Okay, so uh, in dev, you check if request.method is post. So request.method, copy that if part, check if request.method is post. You have to import post, okay? So post you can import from models import post. Okay, import, um, uh, so from dot models import post. And you say post dot content, okay? So, yeah, and then if and after if, okay, you say post equal to post. Call the object of post P capital, okay? There P capital, line one three, P capital. Okay, yeah, create an object of post P equal to post or something. P capital, yeah, that's the class name. Okay, bracket open and close. Post bracket open and close, simple bracket open and close, yeah. It's a constructor, okay, hit enter. Okay. And uh, here you say post dot content equal to
or rather request dot post. Okay, it says sorry. Wait, wait, wait. Post dot okay. Post dot comment equal to correct, correct. Request dot post. dot post dot get content so get content right or get blog blog single hotel name get Then return render request dot blog dot html right Get content, content. Yes. That is the column name, right? What's the column name? Content, sir. Get. Uh, in the bracket. Okay, get dot nahi hai. Get bracket open. No, 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 get bracket open. You see the code, right? Get, yeah, bracket open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now put that column name, the database column name here. In quotation, in quotation, single quotation. After that, you say po uh, netline posts dot save. And okay, now hit uh, run this. Let's see what we get. Let's see. Import not name post from my blogs dot models. Here we don't have post, is it? So what is the method name that you used in uh, your template? Go to template. Okay, method uh, class. Have you used? Method form action. It's a form only, right? Go up, 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 up to the beginning first line. So this is the first line, sir. Body, yeah, body class. It is all class. Okay, it is fetching the data, right? So here you don't have, it is when you are saving the data to database, then you need. Can you go to admin? Your admin means your uh, admin dot py. So they're there only. They're back. Yeah, so you see admin dot py. So you used single block. So this is part of single block, right? Yes, sir. Whatever I said, right? Just comment that part. Okay, for a moment, let's not use it.
Okay. So I think not here, not here. Sorry. This is not, I said, whatever I said, this is not, I said, right. Uncommented. Well, how can you, what are you doing? Remove that. Yes. Okay, go back to your model, not model, template. Okay, not template, sorry. The view. View, view, yes. Remove whatever I said, right? Comment that. Okay, yes. Now you go to your view uh, template. Okay. Uh, in template, uh, where are you displaying the content? What is the com content part? It was 46, right? Uh, here, here, right? Now, after content, you use pipe. Okay, after content, type pipe. Go to the end of content. Uh, say pipe. Pipe sign. Dot have oh, pipe. Pipe sign ray on the above keyboard, on, on the end above key. How do you use pipe. our Pami language? Pipe, yes. Pipe symbol. So which uh, pipe symbol means? Or how do you do it in programming languages? Mein. Okay, evolve, okay, okay. Enter the above, right? Hmm. This one? A single, haan, single pipe. Okay, and say safe. S-A-F-E, safe. Okay, now run it. You have added uh, BR right in the code. In the admin code, have you added BR? Error are like, yeah? Yeah, oh, comment kardo, line number 13. 3 we comment kardo. Line number 3 also, we don't want it. Okay, delete it but rather. I put You're BR. adding BR, correct? Yeah. Put BR. Yes. And save. Yeah. Now run your program. Yes, sir. Now working. Are you know? So you can use save. I was thinking that, you know, you, that is to save, uh, you know, in the database itself like that. So you can use it safe here. So save, say, you the external code will be read from the text. Okay, okay, sir. Okay. Yes. Any other question? No, sir. No? Sir, can you please uh, share um, your code uh, views and URL in chat? Then I save this on a specific file and I read. Uh, tutorial, tutorial. So I have shared this uh, assignment three. Did you hear the assignment three link? Oh, two more. Uh, yesterday class link I not get. No, no. Yesterday's link I did not send. I'll share. Uh, I have not done it. I'll share. I'll share it to you. No assignment. I'm. I'm telling you assignment. I shared one last week. I shared in the chat only in the session. Uh, one PDF file. Yes. Session three, how I was made. Sir, okay. uh, chat mean uh, WhatsApp chat me. WhatsApp chat, not WhatsApp chat. In the session only, I said do this as assignment. Do three days before. So, where will I get it? Chat me, I have not received it. Okay, I will connect offline. I'll tell you where to get it. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll share it. So, any question before we end today's session? I have no question. So now, okay, good. So, you know, uh, now um, what we'll do is um, next session, we'll use the same application. We'll add the template and then we'll add some static files. Okay. 
चलो दैट ओके सर प्लीज प्रैक्टिस गाइस ओके टेक केयर एवरीवन बाय फॉर टुडे बाय सर बाय